Let me teach you how to do the entry. And then you're going to be a better trader than me once you learn the entry, okay? Uh, I'm, a very, I'm very good at the entry because my, my, when I started trading, that's all I focused on. Um, entry, entry, entry. And so I, I, my, I know my personality. So my personality is a control freak. I mean, I, 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 it's very hard for me to hold swings and just not knowing shit. So if I held a swing overnight, I, I, dude, I'd be on my fucking phone until 8 p.m. Until the our, uh, ECNs like die. And I couldn't sleep overnight. I, I would have to wake up like at 2 a.m. like Alex does, right? I, so I, I just know my personality, you guys. And I, I know that, dude, it just it does not, you know, I'm not comfortable at it. So knowing that, I built my training strategy around my, my own personality, my own deficiencies, right? Not everybody's going to be perfect, dude. Not everybody's going to be the master uh, mathematical guru that's going to come up with, like, these crazy-ass fucking Fibonacci lines and just all these crazy indicators, right? I mean, so you have to... You have to figure out what works for you, for your personality, guys. And so that's why I always say, you know, you, make, you need to make trading personal to you. Um, I can show you a lot of things, but you cannot copy what I do because you are not me. Uh, you may be a little slower at clicking buttons than I do. You know, I, I'm, I grew up a very lonely teenager, so I'm very good with my hands. <laughs> I'm very quick with the wrist action and the finger action, right? So you may be more sociable with, with a lot of female friends growing up. So you may be a little slower to react than I do. So, I mean, <laughs> so like I said, man, it's all, it all depends on you, right? So you, now you guys understand, man, it's, I could teach you the mechanics, but, but most of it is, is your own personality is your own psychology and so that's why I keep telling you guys, it's like, dude, okay, I'm going to teach you the basic fundamentals. Now you have to learn to adapt it within your personality. Um, so people are great at swinging. They have no problem. They can go fucking to the beach and just chill with no internet. But I'm like, dude, I fucking need my whole system. So everywhere I go, I need to carry, like, I, I need to have like a fucking butler carry my shit around, you know? So I know my own deficiency, guys. So I made the best of what I could do. So, so these guys are, that are saying, oh, you should do this, you should do that, they're bullshit. They're full of shit. Most of those guys have no fucking money. If they did, they wouldn't have a fucking nine-to-five job, right? Um, you know, it, it's, it's very simple, guys. So, the, it's, I mean, it's not simple. You know what the simple thing is? Simple is to know that you don't know shit. The only thing in life I really fucking know for 100% sure is I don't know shit. Um, and by doing that, it keep, kept me alive. And by knowing myself, I know my own mental deficiencies, right? I fuck, dude, like Thursday, I go drinking. So I'm not going to hold a position overnight. Um, just stuff like that. And then Friday, I'm hungover. So I'm going to take it easy on Friday. So just those simple things, guys, just, just, just to help you. Like you have to sit down and figure out what the hell is wrong with your mental psyche, you know? And so work around that, okay? You can improve yourself, obviously, but also know yourself. Only you know yourself. Like, I'm really bad if I take a loss. If I take a loss, I've got to come back in and do revenge trades and do FOMO. I'm, I'm just going to lose my money. So if you, if you admit to yourself, like, you are that asshole that cannot fucking t get a grip once he loses, get the fuck out of the house. Walk out of the house. Do what you need to do. Pull the plug. Get the hell out. And that would save you a lot of grief, man. Just knowing yourself. Just knowing yourself like that. If you know, like, if you fight with your girlfriend or your wife or your spouse, whatever, you're going to have a bad day. So do not trade. Why? 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 Statistics show that, hey, if, if you drink, you, you're going you're gonna to get into a fight. Maybe you shouldn't fucking drink. Or drink where you're not around a bunch of guys that you're going to fight with. You know, that's what I'm saying. But in training, dude, I want to teach you in trading. There's these correlations between personality and, and results. Like Alex says, like, like Alex told me yesterday, hey, man, um, I had a psychology lesson with a trading coach who is a PhD in psychology, Dr. Brett. He told me he, we, we analyzed our trades and all my losses were after 11. So I should not trade after 11. Even, even though the situation the, 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 is so tempting, maybe I, should, maybe I should consider not trading. So those are the stats that you keep. These are the intangibles, I, I call them. 
They're more your personality. So you, you track that. So a lot of people just track about metrics, about trades and stocks. Nah, dude, there's a human component. It's the guy that's sitting down right now. It's the guy that knows himself. Uh, I know, I, I, dude, I, I used to have like, I used to have a girl and dude, I know every time I got in a fight with her, bad shit's going to happen the next day. Bad shit. I don't know what the reason, my brain, karma, what the hell it is. And so I, so I was like begging her, please, I got to go to work. Can you just forgive me? Can you just fucking forgive me? And you know, if she doesn't forgive me, I lose my money. So just stupid shit like that. Or it could be, or it could be superstition, you know, like fuck, whatever it is, whatever it is to make your, make yourself less Give yourself less anxiety because at the end of the day, guys, it's all about anxiety. Um, FOMO, fear of missing out, it's all anxiety. It's anxiety of missing the fucking trade. Uh, uh, kick, uh, not being able to cut a loss. It's the anxiety of thinking you look stupid if you tell someone you took a loss. So these are all anxiety, okay? And those are the obvious anxieties you have. There's a lot of non-obvious ones, which is your external life factors, right? So that's why I keep telling that if your life is in chaos, guys, your trades will be in chaos. So fix your life. Take a week off of trading. You don't have to fucking trade every day. Being a full-time trader does not mean trading all the time. It's, you know what I'm saying? So you'd rather lose no money, guys, than to fucking say, oh, I fucking knew. I knew I, knew I should have fucking trade. You know, so... Okay, with that in mind, let's take a look at some of the technical stuff that I can help you with, okay? I can't help you with your own uh, demons in your head. I have two made of my own, dude. <laughs> so, and so, how do you establish routine? So, mimic the days that you have awesome days. But the days you walk in, you, it feels everything fucking right. And then you go back and you go, what did I do? Well, I woke up, had sex with my girlfriend. <laughs> I go jerked off. I don't know what the hell it is, okay? It could be anything you want. You know, so I'm just giving you an example, okay? Example of a day where everything fucking felt great. The reason it felt great because you had very little anxiety, right? It makes sense, right? You, you fucking had no anxiety. You're not hungry. You don't have to fucking have a bowel movement. A bowel, B-O-W-E-L, not B-A-O. Bowel movements, B-A-O movements are cool. That's cool. <laughs> um, but you see what I'm saying, guys? So the first step is to reduce as much anxiety as you want, as you can in your life. And uh, that's it. The daily recap's over, guys. And I'm telling you, even if you just learned that from this daily recap, I, I can assure you, your training will be much better the moment you reduce your anxiety.